morning, Compass Kids. It's Mrs. Schrader again, and I am so excited to be here with my friend Lila to go over our proverb for the day in the EDW. Lila, are you ready? Oh, yeah! All right, let's do it. Today, we're looking at Proverbs 13, 20 through 23, and this is what it says. Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. Disaster pursues sinners, but the righteous are rewarded with good. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, but the sinner's wealth is laid up for the righteous. Uh, Mrs. Schrader, what is a companion? A companion is another word for a friend. Hmm. The Bible tells us that those who are friends with foolish people will suffer harm. Oh, I don't want that. I remember one time in Awana we learned about King Rehoboam. He listened to his friend's advice instead of the wise men. His friends gave him bad advice and then so many bad You're right. I remember that Bible story too. But what did this verse tell us to do if we want to become wise people? Hmm. Think, think, think. Oh! Yeah, it said, uh, it said to, to, to walk with the wise. Wait, do I actually have to take a walk with wise people or does that just mean something else? <laughs> well, it means something else. It means that you need to be friends with wise people. It, me it means that you need to spend time with wise people. It means that those who are your closest f friends need to be people who are wise. Oh, so where can I find wise friends so that I can become wise too? Well, Psalm 119 tells us that the people that are wise are people that love the Bible. So, Lila, where do you think we can find people that love the Bible? Oh, I know, I know, I know. It's church. Oh, I can't wait to see all my church friends again. But maybe I could call a friend from church today and talk to them about the Bible. That is such a good idea, Lila. Hey, Compass Kids, Lila just had a great idea. Why don't you ask your mom or dad if you can call one of your friends from church today and talk with them about the Bible, ask them how their day is going, and just check in with them so that all of our friends can make sure that we still love each other and we can't wait to be together again. And you know what, Lila? That reminds me. I think I'm going to call my friend today, too. I'm going to call Mrs. Vosper from the music team and oh, check in with her. I know. I love her, too. So let's check in with her together, all right? Okay. Let's give her a call. Okay. We're going to call Mrs. Vosper. You guys choose a friend to call, too, okay? Bye, Compass Kids. We'll see you later. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>